Well, hello, everybody. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. So like I said, what we're going to be doing is going over the 3.8 beta today. So I already have an Oxygen Sandbox set up here with the beta installed. I have my typical suite of plugins. We're probably not gonna use all of them. We're definitely gonna go through something in ACF Pro, which is super exciting. So this is a big one. This one is kind of one of those things that's sort of hidden in plain sight, but this is big and we might end up spending a little bit of time on this. So have patience with me because I promise this is worth it. So. It says corrected advanced query logic to allow it to process comma separated strings as arrays for some queries. This is going to take us a little bit of setup. Um, I am going to get rid of this entire template and let's go back to oxygen. We or excuse me, WordPress. We are going to actually create an ACF relationship field. And for those of you guys that have been waiting for a long time, some of you actually stumbled across a page on my website talking about uh, relationship fields in Oxygen. And I was actually working on a plugin that would let you do this, which I have since stopped because once the 3.8 beta came out, uh, I knew that this was coming. And now today it's actually possible to do an ACF relationship field directly in the Oxygen repeater, thanks to the advanced query functionality that showed up in 3.8. So. If you're not familiar with what the relationship field is, let's go ahead and take a look. Actually, let me think about the best example here. Actually, you know what? Let me switch screens real quick because I might have demo site already set up. So yeah, give me just a second here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. All right, so we're in a different WordPress install now. So basically the ACF relationship field is extremely powerful because what you can do with it is if you have two custom post types, let's say authors and books, you can connect them with a field that then allows you to tie those posts together. So like, think of it as like an author sort of like post relationship where you want those posts to be tied back to an author. So you could have a button that says something like view posts by this author, and then, you know, it goes and spits out the, the whole list for you. So let's take a look at this real quick. So basically this is a relationship field. And for this particular case, I only want it to show the books post type. And then this is showing up on the post type of author. So basically what we can do is go to authors. I have two here, so JK Rowling and then the poker player Tom Dwan, but I don't actually think he's an author. Maybe he is. Uh, edit. All right, so let me back up here because I do have some content in these relationship fields. So I wanna make this a little bit more applicable. So basically with the relationship field that you have set up, what you can do is choose books by this author. So this is gonna have every book in the book post types. So let me go over here real quick. And you can see I have a few made up ones, how to win at poker, how to win at winning, then a few not made up ones like Harry Potter and then a few test books. And so if I look at these and let's say I'm under the JK Rowling one, then I would choose Harry Potter and I think there's another Harry Potter one here. Yeah, so then I would go to update and then the other thing is you can make up a million use cases for this. You could have like, like let's say speakers and events could be tied together, like uh, you know brands and their products. So there's a million different use cases for this. And, and before now, you had to hand code your loop in a code block in Oxygen, which was possible, but it was very clunky. So, well, not clunky, but you know, it was somewhat difficult. So now what we can do is let's go to Oxygen Templates. We're gonna go to Singular, and I had some stuff in here. So I'm actually gonna wipe out this entire template and we'll start over here. So basically what I've done is just set this oxygen template to apply to the author singular, and then uh, let's just go ahead and edit it. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna pop in the section with the heading, and we're gonna make this the post title, which in this case is JK Rowling. Let's do another section here. And we are going to, I'm gonna just add in another heading that says like tag of H3, and we'll say books by this author. Oh, that's weird to see it typing in the content field as I'm typing in real time. So add some margin under this guy. We're going to go with a repeater and we are going to work with an advanced query. So I can't remember exactly how to do this off the top of my head, but I will figure this out. So essentially we're going to go to edit query. We're going to go to add query parameter. So we're going to go to post, where is it? Post type is book, I believe. 
book or books? Books with an S. Okay. And then we're going to add a parameter. And then I'm pretty sure we want to go with the post in parameter and then it's advanced custom field and then books by this author is the one. And then I believe we just want to go with a separator of comma and then the object ID. Can't remember off the top of my head. I'll, I have it written down. So let me go take a look here in just a second. Page name, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think that's all you have to do. Let's go ahead and just try it. So we'll do this and then apply query. Yes, perfect. That's all you have to do. So we will put a text element here and then we're gonna go to post title with the insert data. Look at that. So obviously just like the repeater has for millions of years now, it has kind of an incorrect first div, but if we save this real quick and we go look, then it's correct on the front end. So those are the post titles from the ACF relationship field. Again, if we go edit this author post, then these are the three posts that were in that relationship. So it gets even better, of course, because you can pretty much put everything inside of that, including like an image element. Um, and then data would just be the post featured image. I don't actually know that these posts have a featured image, not all of them anyway. And obviously these are not like the actual images for these books, clearly not. But if we were to go back over to these, you can see these little images right here are the actual post featured images. And those are what shows up on the front end when we refresh. So this gets even better. So now we have the ability to create these relationship fields in Oxygen, which is going to be incredibly powerful. But like I said, it gets even better. So what we're going to do is now go to our author archive template and go even further. So again, I'm going to clear out my template so there's nothing there. And let me go make sure that the other author has some books attached to him. Yeah, so there is two there. So this is perfect. What we're going to do is go to section. We are going to go with a heading that just says something like all authors. Let's stick in another section and a repeater. This one we don't need to change the query on because of course we only have, we're, we're already in the oxygen template, so there's nothing to change. So what we're going to do is go to insert data post title, which is going to be our author names. Uh, I am going to go with 40 pixels of margin beneath that. So underneath this heading, we are going to add in just a simple text element. Again, I'm not going to spend any time on styling here, but um, with this text element, we are just going to type books by this author. And we're actually going to nest another repeater inside of this one, which is pretty dope. This works. We are going to essentially do the same thing we just did on the singular post type. And actually, I think there might be a little bit of a bug here because uh, you can see it just keeps spinning. But if we save this and then refresh, I believe it works. It's going to make a liar out of me. I can't select that stuff though. But it does exist in the structure panel. It's like it, it wants to work. Oh, Jason says, did you already set the, I assume you meant query for the second repeater. I did not actually. I want to try that real quick. Uh, well, let's just try it real quick. Let's go to post type is books. And then the post in is our ACF relationship field, which is books by this author, uh, comma, and then post object ID. Save that guy. Hopefully it'll kind of work now. Oh, I probably should have clicked the apply query button. Oh, we're making progress. Yes, let's go. Thank you, Bryn. That, that intrigued me to actually go set it. Or who, who said that? It was Jason. Thank you, Jason. But both of you guys actually helped contribute to making this work. So this is exactly what I wanted to happen. I'm glad we persevered. I almost, I almost moved on. Uh, so text here. And then insert data post title. It's a little bit slow, like the repeater always is, but it works. Uh oh. Uh oh. 502. Please work. I think, I think, 
This should work. Let's go. It works. So let me actually make some uh, adjustments here so we can kind of see what's going on a bit more clearly. 15 margin, and then this repeater, I'm going to just indent a little bit to make it a little bit more clear. And let's give this some breathing room. Uh, do, 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 five pixels of padding all the way around. And then you could take this text, you could convert it to a link. Then you could go to data permalink, and now those are gonna link directly to that author, which is super sweet. Jason says you have the job of thinking, doing, and talking. Yeah, it's definitely true. It does add some pressure, especially when there's 120 people watching. That's absolutely insane. I've said it a million times, but it's hard to believe. So as you can see, now this is the nested repeater in here. And with that, we now have direct links to those posts. So you can see I'm on the author's archive template. And I now have a direct link to these individual posts, which is just amazing. I, of course, don't have a template set up for the book's singular post type, so there would be nothing there if I click on it. But just to prove the point, it does take me to that particular layout, which is just super, super awesome. This is something that I have had requested probably in term. I don't keep a list of like what's the most requested, but in terms of just like my intuition, this was like number one, which is why I, like I said, I was working on kind of an add-on for this. But now that it's possible in core, it's just the, the possibilities are just absolutely endless. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was a long one, but I told you that, uh, you know, it was worth the wait because relationships are incredibly powerful. And if you have ACF Pro, the fact that it now can work inside of Oxygen is just really, really great. So hello, it's me again. I wanted to quickly close out this video and just say thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It does help me tremendously. And I also wanted to share with you as well that I do have a full course on Oxygen Builder. So if what you watch today is a little overwhelming and you want to start from the beginning, the Ultimate Oxygen course, which you can find in the link in the description below, is definitely the best place to start. That will help you learn everything there is to know about Oxygen as a beginner, helping you build full websites with the software. So I hope you'll consider checking that out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.